hey y'all. Oh, y'all see my vase back there. I take out my car. So this is the next day. I'm um just dropped. So this is the next day. I got up, got Riz ready for school. We sitting down there and time just click clicked on and no no bus came. I went and looked at the calendar. Y'all, why are the kids out of school today and Monday? Like <laughs> Kids really have a lot of days out of school. A lot, a lot more than we ever used to have. Spring break is gone now. Spring break is gone. But they have so many school holidays, y'all. I was like, what? what are they, why are they out of school today and Monday? So anyway, he's with me. We're riding out today. I'm not upset or anything, but it's just like, this happens quite often. And maybe it's my fault because I don't keep up with it. But... That he's out of school a lot, y'all. A lot. I would have loved this when I was young. Well, probably not because when I was younger, honey, I was depending on school lunches to eat, but that's a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, I, I would have. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm heading back home because I have someone coming to detail this car, y'all. Oh, I'm so happy and excited. But you know how it is when you have to clean before you can get things clean. So I have to go through and do a little bit of cleaning in this car before I can get it clean. Because y'all, I'm 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 be embarrassed <laughs> for this person to come see. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's 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 bad, y'all. So um, and give me a price of sixty dollars. We'll see. I I think this I wouldn't do this job for sixty dollars, but I don't detail. I don't have the equipment they have. It may be they may have equipment to get it done quickly. I was supposed to go and get my blood work done today um, because I told y'all about the accidental finger stick I had. But with me having to res and I don't know how long the process will take and I don't want to just leave him at the house. I'm going to take y'all know how I do when he's out of school. I take him out and about. So yeah, once my car gets detailed we're going to hit the streets. And I don't know what we're going to do today. But, y'all, yeah, I'll be watching videos about real estate a lot. I used to watch videos about real estate. Um, you know, I started watching videos, a lot of videos about real estate and stuff. After I purchased my house, which is backwards, I should have watched it beforehand. But I wasn't even really that familiar with YouTube back when I purchased my house. I didn't even actually start watching YouTube house, but it was all about Game of Thrones. I didn't really watch much of anything else on there. But I'm watching a lot because y'all know... I don't talk about real estate that much because I'm not a realtor, I'm not a broker, I'm not any of that. But I spend money. <laughs> and so, and I know, I knew for like two years now I wanted to purchase a mobile home. And so I started watching like mobile home videos when I started going out looking at mobile homes and saw that these prices were ridiculous. And I'm looking at like, and then I had friends who purchased houses in the last three years. And I used to advise them, y'all don't buy that house, don't buy that house, that price is ridiculous. But you know, when people want to do what they want to do, they, you know, they purchase the houses. And I even had one friend who overbid like $10,000 to get her house because she kept losing houses um, that she, you know, wanted to bid on. And y'all, I'm looking at it now. And although, you know, prices had, I told them, I, back when she bought the house, I think it was like 2022, I told her the price was going to, like, prices were going to drop and people were going to be, um, upside down in their mortgage and prices have started dropping but not drastically but i'm so glad to see that people are not buying houses like they were in the last three years because y'all those those prices were were and are ridiculous i have issues going on with my house where my in my mortgage insurance my homeowner's insurance has gone up every year for the past like three years it's going up i i renew again in june and They've increased it another almost $400. And it's just, I think I've had a total increase of, in the last three years, I've had a total increase of about $800. And now they're doing another increase of almost $400, y'all. It's, it's ridiculous. And I feel like people are trying to out, get you out of your house. I, I want to say that because, you know, I'm just so happy that I had the wherewithal to purchased my house before I became an RN and I'm not going to say that it was necessarily planned like that but 
knew when I purchased my house that if I wait a year, I could get a higher loan. But I knew what I got approved for that I could find a house for that amount. And then I had the mind of thinking that, okay, well, I'll be making more money once I get my RN, so I'll pay this loan off even quicker. So that's why I'm just so happy that even though I have equity in my house, I don't know how much equity I have, but because of inflation, I know I have equity in my house. I'm, I'm just so glad that I made the decision to buy with the income that I was earning at that time because I'm not going to say these increases don't affect me. I'm not going to say they don't affect me, but they don't affect me only because, yes, my, the cost of homeowner's insurance has increased. Yes, my taxes have increased. So much has increased. But I'm fortunate enough that the career I chose, my pay has increased as well. And so I'm able to keep up with the, the increase. I'm someone who went from, I'll say, 65000 70,000 and that's what working overtime to 90,000 just working my basic three days a week you know so not to brag but I'm just so blessed and for those of y'all who chose a career in nursing you know kudos to you pat on the back if you chose it for the if you chose it for the right reasons I'm not gonna say what reasons are the right reasons because everybody reason is different I'm just going to say, just do the job that you got hired to do. Do it well. These are people's lives you're taking on your hands. But kudos to you for choosing a career that can finance your life. That could finance you through this this inflation. Because, y'all, it's the prices are really ridiculous on, even if you're not owning, if you're renting. I know someone who got a one-bedroom apartment and she's paying $1,500 a month. I've been in my house six years. I haven't hit $1,500 a month in my mortgage yet. And they always say renting is more expensive than buying. So y'all, I got, uh, I don't know if I told y'all about, I think I did tell y'all about me applying for a federal job. So I got the pay scale for the federal job and I've been talking to people, but I got a hold of a pay scale, a tentative pay scale for the federal job because I was wondering how much I would make. And it looks like with me going in with the credentials I have, I would go in for anywhere from like 97000 to 105000 So y'all, I'm thinking the grades are degree level, grade 1 ADN, grade 2 BSN, grade 3 MSN. And I'm also thinking because I'm a BSN with five years experience, I would fall between S2 and S5. So if I sign a contract with the federal government and say they put me at a hundred thousand for, but that would be for four days a week plus an eight hour. That would be for four days a week, three twelves and one eight hour shift. So now I'm looking at it as okay, y'all added that caveat of that eight hour shift, and that would be for an extra eleven thousand dollars, say eleven thousand dollars. Would I be getting that same amount of money if I picked up an eight-hour shift with my job now? Like, wouldn't it equal out to $100,000 if I did an eight-hour shift every week? <laughs> and that's where I'm at with it, with the money-wise. Now, when it comes, with the money-wise, I feel like it's almost really even. Because if I was to do three twelve and eight with my job currently, I think I would hit $100,000. I think eight hours times 52 weeks is like 400 hours that would put me at just about that hundred thousand dollars so i don't think there's any more money working for the federal government when i think about it that way that's with me coming in at like a hundred thousand um and maybe more because i was told by someone that their friend has been with them for seven years has been with the federal government for seven years they have their RN ADN and they're at 103,000. So, you know, I'm just estimating that 100,000. But the federal government has other benefits that are better too, like the five years to be vested. The, I think 
think they have. Um, I have 13 holidays a year now. I think the federal government offers like 18 holidays a year. Um, the fact that you can wear any color scrubs, you don't have to wear just, I won't have to just be limited to still blue. I can wear, and y'all may think, oh, that's so minor, but y'all, when you a nurse, <laughs> that's like a major thing. I can wear any color scrubs. I don't have to wear just still blue scrubs. Add to that, the benefits would be better because I was told by someone who works in the federal government, who's been in the federal government for 20 something years, you have so many companies vying for your business that you have so many different benefit packages to choose from. With the state, I think I had three. Um, so, all in all, it's sounding like a better deal to go with the federal government. However, I was told that I will work harder working for the federal government. Which I don't know, because somebody who worked for the federal government told me that they don't work hard. When I told them I was going into the state, it was like, look, I'm going to tell you right now, don't come in here with that hard work, because we don't work hard for the government. Like, I hate to say it like that, but that's what they told me. It was like, we don't work hard, so don't come here thinking you're going to... Don't come here with that work hard ethic, because we don't do that. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you know. And they work for the federal government, so... But anyway, y'all, I'll get back with y'all once I um, get back in my car. I'm about to get out here and pre-clean so they can come deep clean my car. Hey, y'all, I'm just coming back. It's been a while. Um, it's been hours, about hours. Anywho, I'm heading back home. Me and my daughter and Therese, we ended up riding to um, Orangeburg, South Carolina, just to get out of the house, really. And I went by the roses there, got a few items. Um, the guy did come by and he cleaned my truck. He did a good job. He really did. Um, the only thing I didn't like is that he doesn't have it shining on the inside. Y'all know how most people, they put that arm in, I was about to say arm and hammer. The armor all or whatever on it and get it shiny. So I went and purchased some myself. But um, he only charged me $85. Now y'all tell me if that's high or not. My daughter said that's a good price. I agree it's a good price for the way that my truck looked. Um, so he charged me $85. And like I said, my truck was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. But I asked him about coming back, like if I become, like every two weeks, if he come, how much would it be for him? Just, you know, like touch it up, you know, wash it. Cause it's not like he armor, he didn't armor all my tires or anything. He just basically washed them. So they're not shining, just like my console isn't shining. But my truck is clean. Like I don't see a crumb or anything anywhere. Y'all know I eat in my front seat. So it gets kind of messy in here. But um, I asked him, I was like, how much do you know come back on like an every two week basis and clean it? And he told me $85. Now, I don't, to me, that's a little, I mean, I see an initial, and my daughter told me if I would have got it done in my hometown, they would have charged me like $125 off the rip just to clean it the first time. So she was like, I saved money. And mind you, I don't know the prices of stuff these days because the last time I got a vehicle mobile detail, I only paid $70, and it was an SUV, too. And also, y'all, I got three rows of seats, but my third seat has been down basically since I purchased this truck, so I didn't even ask him to clean that because there's nothing back there. No one sits back there. But um, I just asked him, I was like, so, you know, if you just come back every two weeks, how much would it be? And he told me 80 it'll be the same, $85. So, I don't know, y'all. I was just thinking maybe he'd be like 65 maybe because it won't be as bad as it was the first time around. But y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Maybe I'm being unreasonable. Maybe I'm thinking about 2020 prices and we in 2024. Um, and let me also add that he hooked up to my power and he hooked up to my water. So I feel like maybe if you come every two weeks, possibly $65, you know, because I do want to keep it looking like this, you know, looking good like this. But um, it's almost the same as like, I was um, talking to my guy last night because he does lawn care. I mean, look, let me tell you, that man, that's a working man. When that, I hate to say it, but when it comes to making a dollar, it's like he won't sleep if he gonna make the dollar. So I was telling him about his business with his landscaping. Like the guy that comes and does my yard, the guy comes and does my yard like at the beginning of the season when, um, you know, winter is over or whatever, that first cut of the season because by then it probably has grown so much. He charged, he charges me like 150 and um, it's like 150 if you go ahead and, you know, cut the grass, trim the 
hedges, cut down my bushes and stuff like that. It's like 150. But then going forward, every two weeks, it's only $50 to cut the grass. And then if he trims the bushes and stuff, it's $80. I feel like that's a good price, you know? But that initial price would be 150. But if he comes back and does, you know, everything, it's only $80. I feel like that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And if he just cuts the grass, it's only 50. But if he trims the hedges, and cuts the grass every two weeks is eighty dollars, which my head just normally don't need trimming every every um, you know two weeks, maybe once a month. But yeah, yeah, I just I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, we went to Roses. I got uh, a couple little odds and ends, you know, cute little things. A couple little odds and ends, and I am heading now to pick Heaven up from work. And then when we go home, my daughter's going to rebraid my edges because y'all see how it's looking, y'all. <laughs> she looked at the top of my head today and she was like, no man, that's too, no man, that's too much room to grow from, you know, whatever. And I don't think it looked bad. So, I mean, she said it don't look bad, but she just said it's too much new growth. So she's going to just take, we're going to take out braid by braid and she's going to um, rebraid um, my edges. So that's kind of the end of this video. Not too much going on. I even forgot about what I talked about.